Alcohol is always a part of my life. I had my first drink when I was in high school, but I mostly drank in high school because my friends were, and I just wanted to see what it was like. At that time, it was something fun and new, and I eventually came to realize that I was just made up differently than other people, and I wasn't able to stop drinking when it was time to stop drinking. My lowest point was probably my junior year of college. Multiple people close to me had passed away, and I was unable to properly cope with my emotions. I was regularly over-consuming alcohol and just trying to shield myself from the feelings that I didn't want to feel. And along with this, I was dealing with undiagnosed depression and anxiety that badly needed to be treated. When I graduated college in 2018, I finally got treatment for my undiagnosed depression and anxiety. But even with this, my drinking wasn't at a healthy point. It was probably the worst in social settings. I just always felt this urge to keep up and be likable. And then it came to a point where I realized I really needed to change something if I wanted to live a better life. When I first decided to get sober, one of the biggest worries was how I would approach this with my friends and family. I'm sure some of them knew that this was coming and I knew they would probably be happy with me and proud of me, but it was just that first stop, that first conversation saying, hey, I have a problem and this is what I need to do. But luckily I was met with love and support from my friends and family Sobriety has allowed me to be much more immersed in my training and my running. In April this year, I ran my first marathon as a sober person. I've run five marathons total now, but this was the first one where I was sober and the accomplishment of running a 306 just felt that much sweeter. And last month in September, I was able to accomplish my first long distance trail race. I've come to realize that these accomplishments wouldn't be possible without sobriety because when you're there in the course, you're there on the trails, you reach a point where your mind almost wants you to give up. And I've really trained my mind to reach these low and hard points in my races and not completely fold when things get hard. One of the most significant things that sobriety has given me is the presence in the life I'm living. I am now living a life I no longer need to escape from, and because of this, I'm a much better person to myself and everyone around me. The sense of community is definitely an important part of staying sober and promoting the alcohol-free living, because it may seem like your life is nothing with alcohol at first, but then you see other people living their life and doing great things, and you're like, I can do that too. The stories Arcolette shares is helpful in making us feel that we're part of something bigger than ourselves. There is a part of me that wishes I would have found sobriety in my 20s, but it's never too late to make a change. <laughs>